we're going to be looking here at one of the most basic types of factoring you're going to be studying, and that's when you're factoring out the greatest common factor that's just a number, a constant. Um, by the way, factoring is a hugely, hugely, hugely important topic in math, and what it is is it's taking something from being just a sum or a difference and turning it into a product or a multiply thing. And it seems like a, um, a strange skill, but you're going to see how it, this shows up all over the place in math. It's a really important idea to be able to rewrite something from a sum or difference into a product. Okay, well, let's look at the first thing. Um, I want to look at um, factoring, which is another word for undistribute. Some students think of this as undistribute, distribute, because it's like doing the distributed property backwards. So if I want to look at this first thing, 3x minus 6, the number that goes into both of those terms is 3. So I'm going to write that outside parentheses, and then I'm going to undistribute the 3. 3 times what gives me 3x, and 3 times what gives me negative 6. There it is. That thing's factored. Let's try another one. 18x squared minus 24. So um, I want to think of what number goes into 18 and also goes into 24. I want to try to think of the greatest number. So I think 6 will work in this case. And if I undistribute 6, then I'll have 3x squared minus 4. Let's talk about checking your work before we get too far in there. Since factoring is like undistributing, I can check my work by distributing. Um, like if I wanted to check my work for number 2, I would distribute 6 times both of those things in parentheses. And indeed, I'd get 18x squared and then 6 times negative 4. That's how I know I did it correctly. Okay, problem number three. Now there's three terms. That means I need the greatest common factor, the number that goes into all three of those, and that would be five. So I'm going to undistribute the five. There we go. That's it. I'm done. I want to check in here and make sure there's no common factor for these numbers that are left inside, because sometimes there is, and that would mean I hadn't found the greatest common factor. Now number four. Um, some students will look at this and they'll want to factor out a negative 3, and other students will look at this and they'll want to factor out a regular 3. Either one of these is fine. Now, technically positive 3 is greater, but sometimes it's a good idea to factor out the negative as well. I mean, we'll see different times in, um, where it, either method's fine. If I factor out the negative 3, then I'll have x minus 5, checked by distributing. That's a, often a mistake with the positive negative signs, plus 15, that's good. Um, if I pop factor out a positive 3, then my first term would have to be negative x. Another common student mistake there is with that negative. Okay, so either one of these is fine. Technically, 3 is the greatest common factor, but it's a good idea sometimes to practice factoring out the negative 3 as well. Okay, numbers 5 and 6. I'm going to show you some common student mistakes that I see. Um, in number 5, a lot of students recognize that the greatest common factor number is 5, so they'll write 5 and then parentheses 6x, and then they think they're done. But if you were to check your work, you could tell this wouldn't be quite right, because this is just 30x, right? If I distribute, I just have 30x. I still need that plus 5 bit. So the correct way to factor this one is pull out the 5. That's good. And then I need 6x plus 1. That plus 1 is key as a placeholder to represent my plus 5 at the end of the problem. Check by distributing. 5 times 6x is 30x. Good. And 5 times 1 is plus 5. Good. Okay, same thing, same common student, student mistake happens here. I'll have 8, and then students will write maybe 0 plus 2x, or maybe uh, just plain old 2x, something like that. That's not right, again, because if I do 8 times 2x, that's just 16x. I don't want that. I'm losing that first part. So it needs to be 8 parentheses 1 to represent my first thing of the 8 plus 2x. And again, check your work by distributing. So factoring is a process you're going to be working on a lot. Um, think of it as undistributing, and you're looking for what number or letters go into all of the terms in your po polynomial.